What's up guys, Aaron here. Welcome to the video. Today we're gonna be trying some great vegan foods today. The truth. So today guys, we're gonna be reviewing some frozen food products. All of this is vegan and we've never had it before. So once again, just like a few videos ago, you guys will be with us for our first time trying these products. So our first product is Whoa, dude, what are you doing? Just grabbing some balls. Plant-based meatballs. So first item on the deck is, we have here Soul Cuisine Meatless Meatballs. That's the Italian style. Do you want any like dipping sauces for these? Oh, How do you like your balls? I should dip the Chick-fil-A, you know? They're like, you ever did that thing where you dip them with soy sauce? We have soy sauce, do you want soy sauce? Cheers. Cheers. Feels like dough. Dough? Yeah. It's got a little spice to it. Pretty good spice. And after each product we eat, we're gonna review three things. Quality, taste, and overall appearance. Also the inside. The inside looks kinda cool. It's kinda like fish. I'll let you guys get a look. So overall appearance, what would you give them? Well, hey to break it to you. They look like balls, meatballs. But then you don't expect it. Mm. So if you put them in front of a non-vegan, they would think like, oh, I'm just eating a regular meatball. Actually, if you eat a meatball, the texture on the outside would be the same way as it is on the inside in a way. Because it's made out of the same stuff, the outside and inside. This one, it's just too crunchy on the outside, you know. Well, you could make these softer. I may have cooked these a little too long. They look good, though. They are good. They have a good like taste, though. Me, personally, being a non-vegan, I would definitely eat these. And I mean, quality-wise, it's kind of the same things you would find in most vegan frozen food products. And they're pretty much the same thing that you would find like beyond meat, so. So overall quality, I would give the quality of ingredients, I would give these maybe like a three, kind of average, kind of what you would expect, kind of what I expected when I got these. Quite delicious though. So taste, out of, out of five. Oh, we're doing a, a scale from what? One to five. One to five? Okay. So on the quality of the meatballs, I gave them a three, kind of average ingredients that you would normally find in vegan frozen food products. I would give it, um, I'd say a five as well. No, four. Four on the taste? Four. Hence, why well, I'm giving it four. Just because, you know, I would expect more taste, you know? The last thing we have to rate is overall appearance. Mm -hmm. Well, and this one will both. Compared to the picture. I mean, you can't go buy pictures. I mean, look at like fast food chains uh, compared good. to the real deal. Yeah. Never mind, screw the pictures. I would say the quality of the outside didn't look too appealing, right? But the inside really made a difference. And the inside really did, right? I was like, I was like, whoa, this guy looks like he's gonna be really gross. The next thing you know, I eat him, and on the inside, he wasn't gross. See, kids, that's why you don't judge people from the outside. Stop all you, bullying. All you have to do is just take a bite, and then all the deliciousness on the inside. Stop comes out. bullying. So don't judge somebody for what their appearance may be. Stop bullying. I want to try those corn dogs or whatever. Corn dog nuggies. <laughs> corn dog nuggies. <laughs> Stop bullying. Are you, remember back in the day, there was like this guy called, what was his name? Mr. Planet or whatever. Um, he was, he was like the savior of like the planet, and like there was like this guy, this like African dude with like a, a ring, and then like a, an Irish dude with a ring, and an Asian girl with a ring, and they would all unite. And then, Mr. Oh, Power Rangers. Rangers. No, it wasn't Power Rangers. It was um, it was this guy. I think his name was like Mr. Planet or whatever. It was, it was, it was uh, I don't know. No, I don't even know. Anything. Next on deck, we have. Field roast miniature corn dog nuggets. Alrighty, from the get go, I'd say it looks pretty, pretty, you know, like a normal corn dog you'd see at a park. Yeah, let's get appearance right off the bat here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. See now, you hear that? It's got a little crunch to it. Got 
Appearance, I'm giving a five. I, I, I'd give it a... <laughs> this, you cooked this yourself. <laughs> you're gonna give it a five. <laughs> I'd say I give it, uh, you know, about a, about a three. Let me see yours. Yeah, about a three. Three? A three. I said five, you said three, so average like a four. Right in the middle. Uh, okay. Can you do a four? Yeah, we, we can do a four. Because I can do a four. Okay. Now, let's go inside. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Looks like a real hot dog. Tastes not that bad. Oh, remember guys, I'm not vegan. So like, if I'm saying this tastes good, it might just taste good for you not vegans out there. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, these are pretty good. Well, this is really good. Like with a regular corn dog, you, know, you have like the sweetness of the cornbread. Mm-hmm. And then you got like the strong, peppery, you know, salty kind of taste of a dog on the inside. You know what I ever thought? What? Wow. Imagine eating a hot dog made out of cats. What would it be called though? What would it be called a hot cat? Probably called a hot cat. Yeah, but that, that doesn't sound appealing. I'm sure like hot dog at first didn't sound appealing, but it took like a hundred years for it to catch on. No, no. People back in the day were doing crazy stuff. Yeah, that's true. They used to smoke like chains of smoking. I mean, they were like chain smokers. Right. And nowadays, those people are still alive and catching the... the and they formed a band yeah. called the Chain Smokers. I think we both got our history on a different, you know, side of the story. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Anyways, back to the review. These corn dogs are actually pretty good. Taste, I'm giving a five. I'm, I'm gonna go to five, too. Five's all around. Five all... Look, I don't even have to use my fork. That's how good they are. I just wanna get right into it. And... Quality-wise of ingredients, honestly, I've had field roasts before, and they do some pretty, pretty decent stuff with their ingredients. I mean, the stuff in here is probably better than what you would find in like average corn dog nuggets. So all the oils in here are expeller pressed, which is nice. Besides that, again, kind of the same stuff that you would find in most vegan frozen food products. So again, I'm giving this like a three. Three or four for what? Quality of ingredients. Oh. Like, how healthy is it? Oh, okay. Where does it range on the health scale? <laughs> what is this? Now we have A90. Wait. Now we have A. <laughs> is it A90 or A. It's. Uh, let me see. Is it A90 or A9? It's like an upside down horseshoe. That's A90. <laughs> Okay, I think. A90 Korean style barbecue plant based burgers. Do you want these bunned? No. Okay. I didn't think so. We're doing ASMR. Appearance, I'd give like a three. Yeah, if I was being cooked this at a store, right, at a restaurant, and I looked at this, I mean, I'm, I just ordered the patty, so it's my fault. Yeah, right? I expect them to do a really good deal on my patty. I'd give this one a a th about a two on the appearance. Yeah, these look like something you'd find in the school cafeteria. These, uh, I gotta say, the quality on the inside looks kind of decent. Looks like meat. All right, I'll try to taste. I'm not getting a strong barbecue taste. Yeah, you don't taste as much barbecue. But nothing's like overwhelming. No, yeah, like, I'm not being like over. Like, it's very subtle. Like the flavor wants you to know it's there, but it doesn't want attention. It's like sneaking up on you. Yeah. It's like, it's, oh, where am I? Kind of like the kid at the party who comes and just stands in the corner. Yeah. He wants you to know you're there, but he doesn't want attention brought to him. Mm. So again, I mean like with all of these, nothing in particular stands out. With most frozen food, you're not gonna get anything that great. It just depends. But yeah, I'd give these like, again, like a three on the quality scale. So a three? Yeah, kind of average. Three or four. Not, yeah, not bad, but not great. Kind of like, like you don't want to be eating this kind of stuff every single day. You should be eating more whole foods instead of frozen food, but I mean, if you are looking to go plant-based, this definitely is a start. Over overall, I give it a three. Yeah. Taste kind of subtle. It was. It was not even like nothing really like it was jumped like, out at me. It just like slithered onto my tongue. Yeah. Was, so so far, let's rank these. Here's this is my ranking. I'm putting the corn dog nuggets first, meatball second, the Korean barbecue burgers third. These are my rankings. All right. All right. What about you? My rankings, I would, to be honest, I would put the meatballs in the front as first, because 
not going to lie, they did kind of, you know, stay close to my heart because they were pretty good. I do like some meatballs on my spaghetti. And I'm going to put the, the corn dog second because, like, it did have a good taste. It really did have it, a good yeah, taste. Yeah, it really did. I, I did enjoy it. And I didn't expect, like, if you had, like, the dog on the inside, the dog on the inside, yeah. it was, it would, it would, uh, it actually tasted pretty good, too. And, like, the cornbread on the outside, it was, it, it tasted really nice. And, not gonna lie, these ones, these ones are trash. I didn't like them. I did not like them. They were, I mean, everybody must have their own preferences, you know. Maybe we could have done something different, but in the scale, they're, they're going last for me. Hands down, I already expected. So we are halfway through the review, and we have three more products to eat. You know what we should do next time when we do food review? What? We should wear like suits and ties. I was thinking about that. You should have told me I would have done it. Okay, we'll do a crab cake. Oh, I love me some crab cakes. Up next, we have Good Catch plant-based crab cakes. Not gonna lie, this one looks pretty good on the outside. Yeah, these do look pretty good. I do like this. This one does look that good. So appearance, right off the bat, what are we giving it? I'd give it a five. It looks pretty appealing. I look at this and I'm like, oh, I really want some of this. What do you guys think? It, it Let me know down in the comments. It looks pretty good. Yeah, put that in the comments. Give it our scale. Do the scales in the comments. This one I might be most excited for. I would say with like the portion size though, I think they could have done better. Crab cakes, what I eat, they're like huge. The inside looks pretty good. You can see some some veggies in there. Some bear in mind they are a little cold because they've been sitting for a while. Oh. Oh. Oh, that tastes just kicks. You think so? I do like that. I really do like that. That is really good. I actually enjoy that one. Even the pictures make them look good. Oh my gosh, this made a big burst in my in my scale for which one goes first. So I'm assuming the taste for you is like oh, yeah, six. No. It's immaculate. It's 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 absolutely astonishing. I like this. This one might be my number one now. For my brand number one. That I think it would taste like a four. How? I don't know, there, there was just something missing. How? There was just something missing. How is that a four? I mean, it wasn't no corn dog nugget. I mean, and ingredient wise, let's see what we're looking at. I bet you can be good. Actually, it tasted too good. Maybe something, you know, off about it. So you, you know, you can never really taste it, like, take off for the taste. Because then if it tastes really too good, there must be something, you know, in there to make it taste that good. Wow, okay. So these actually have algae oil, which is a true source of omega-3s. And fun fact, the omega-3s from fish don't originate from fish, from fish. The fish eat the algae, and then the omega-3s from the algae go into the fish. So the omega-3s that you're getting from the fish are actually from the algae. So we're eating fish food. Or algal oil. Wait, so there's actually, there's 90 milligrams of DHA omega-3s per serving. So ingredients, honestly, I give these like a four. I really like that they added DHA omega-3s into this. I, I'll agree with that. For me being a man, you know, and you know, men love pictures. We love our pictures. I'm going off by the picture. Let me tell you, that picture looks pretty good. I do like me some pictures. I'd give it a five. I'd give it a five off. Up next, we have the same brand, Good Catch, plant-based fish cakes, Thai style. Oh, so it's not crab cakes, it's fish cakes? Yeah, these are fish cakes. That's <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Fish cakes, all right? So far, I'd say it looks, you know, pretty, you know, decent. Uh, it looks like the crab cakes, but, you know, look like a little pale. They look like sausages you get at, like, on McDonald's or something. Yeah. All right, let's go for taste. Actually, no way, I gotta look at the inside. Inside, looks pretty decent. It looks like, you know, if you guys, any Spanish people out there, you guys know like, there's like these plantains, right? You mush them up and they make like mufongo. Mufongo is like a mashed plantain. It looks kind of like that to me. I mean, I mean, I'm not feeling it. Yeah, I'm not feeling that one. Nope. nope. This is the opposite of don't judge a book by its cover. I gave that so much hype from the beginning and absolutely been bombarded of foul taste. Yeah, it wasn't that good. I don't I don't like it. I don't I like it. Like, a, like the outside looks like a five, the inside looks like a five. I don't, I don't think like the outside even looks like no, a No 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 outside I meant it looked like a like a three. You know, like yeah, outside I feel like it wasn't that appealing. It does look like a McDonald's sausage. Like they look like 
even the McDonald's sausages are just kind of blue in a way. Like, have you seen them? Have you had McDonald's in a while? Years. Uh, well, when I was on my trip to Wyoming, we had to like stop by a bunch of rice, like like fast food restaurants or whatever. Yeah. And so like I always get like the breakfast meal, right? But like, the like, pancakes and all that. Like these look exactly like the sauce. I mean, ingredients are basically the same as the other ones. So ingredients, quality wise, it's pretty decent. But taste, it's not there. there. No, mm -mm. it's not there. No, no. Last but not least, what? Oh, that's the fish. Where'd you get this? No, that was you. You get the fish. You didn't get the fish cake one. You got the fish burger. So I was okay. So yeah, I had the wrong one. You had the wrong one. Yeah. Okay. Well, these are what we're having now. The fish burgers. And appearance-wise, they have me. Appearance-wise, looks kind of pale to me. I mean, that's what I would expect from like a salmon burger, or even like a tuna burger. When I was pe pescatarian for five months, I had my fair share of fish. Yeah. No, I was pescatarian because you for a while. And I had so much. So appearance, I'm giving it four. I'd give it a, a, uh, about a three for me. Three. It doesn't look too appealing. I want to be like, oh, I see that off the menu. Let me get that. I mean, it's not too bad. The taste is there, but it's not. It, it kind of tastes like the, where was it? Those ones. The, the first ones? No, the. Are the ones we just Korean had? Korean burger. Yeah, the Korean ones. Mm -hmm. It kind of is like that, where like the taste is not there. I think it's there. I think it's everything that you'd expect from a regular fish cake. Quality of ingredients, again, the brand uses basically the same stuff, so it's pretty solid there, four. I'd say four, but taste, we're gonna give another four. Taste, you're giving four? Yeah, I think the taste is pretty good. I'm giving the taste of two. The taste is uh, not quite there for me. I'm not liking this one. It's like, it's, like, it's not too there. It's like, it's not even like trying to come at me with taste. It's like subtle. It's very slow. I'm looking for something fast moving. Something that gets me excited to eat. All right, so now that we have had all of the products, we're gonna rank them all. And for me, okay, so dead last for me is the Thai style fish cakes. Mm. Then from there, we go to the Korean style barbecue plant-based burgers. This is where things get a little tough. It's a fight for the number three spot between two products. I'm giving the third spot the meatballs. Now top two. So fish burger. Yes, I do. Oh. That fish burger really stood with you. It can only be one number one. Only one. And my number one are the no. fish burgers. No way. No way. Why the fish burgers? A, it looked like a fish burger. B, I think it gave everything that a fish burger could. And C, I love the fact that this brand adds alcohol oil, so you are getting omega-3s. For okay. that reason, they're my number one. Top dog. Corn dog nuggets, close second. It almost hit you? It almost hit you for number one? Yeah. Like, was it originally gonna be number one? It was originally gonna be number one. What? I see, no, I didn't think of these as that good. They were pretty good. All right, so obviously, I wasn't a big fan of this burger here, the Korean style. I'm putting that as dead last. That's gonna go over there, dead last. Did not like it, not gonna lie. And a solid, after that one, it's gonna have to be these fish cakes. The fish cakes weren't there for me. You know, they were they were pretty, they were lacking, I'm sorry to say. You're gonna put the fish burgers at number five? The fish burgers are going at number five. They just were not there. I could not like, really enjoy the taste because there was no taste to enjoy. I think basically, you can see all of the ones at the end are fish. Like it says fish on the title. It was nothing but the fish. All right. I gotta say, for my fourth place, no, third place here, I got the dogs. Those are pretty good. Those are pretty good. Those were pretty good. But not as good, not as good as these meatballs we have here. Those were pretty good. I enjoyed those ones. Absolutely enjoyed them. Now, for the moment we've all been waiting for. The number one spot for me are these crab cakes right here. I gotta say, the crab cakes really hit. I did enjoy them. Um, you know, I, I actually would buy these at the store to go. You know, I'm not a big fan of frozen foods, but this one kind of kind of hit home. Yeah, I'm not a big frozen food eater myself. Yeah, no. Besides, like, frozen fruit, I don't really eat 
much frozen, frozen foods food. Best. So, so our, our rankings were all kind of the same, kind of different, but I think we can both agree that our top two products that averaged were these two. Oh. Yeah, because both of these did make both of our top five. So overall, on average, these two I would say with top dogs. These were on the average scale. That 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 is pretty good. I we do we can agree on those ones. Yeah, we both agreed that. So we're gonna wrap it up here. That is the frozen food product review, and none of this would have been possible without the help from Natural Food and Garden Store in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. Go check them out. You can get all these products there and more. They have a great selection of supplements, spices, teas, anything you can name. They have them there, high quality, organic. Go check them out. Website link, address, and phone number will be in the description below. The Amazon links for all these products will be in the description below as well. All right, so I think that wraps everything up. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and we'll see you in the next one.